Hello, nice to see you again. I'm here today for another of my top tips. Well, I think they're top tips anyway. I bet you have a drawer at home, or a cupboard, or a box, full of these. And by these, I mean empty boxes. You know, over the years, people buy you presents, Reuter boxes, which were full of lovely goodies at some stage or another. And I bet, like me, you think, what on earth can I do with them? Well. I got fed up with mine, so I decided to do something with them. And I'm going to show you what I did with them. You might choose to do something different, of course, but this is what I did. To start with, I took the biggest one, which is this one. Snakes, of course. Now, I've seen this done before, but I've seen it done as if it was in a pet shop or a boy's room. But I wanted to make it very natural. And you'll see what I've done in here. I've got two snakes made, three snakes, I have to put my glasses on, so bear with me a moment. Um, three snakes made out of Sculpey. This is Sculpey, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Or Fimo would do, of course, as well. Three, one, two, three. All of the things you can see here are natural because I really do beg you to go and look at nature for some of the things you can get. Aren't these just things of beauty? And these are all growing naturally. You don't have to buy them. You can just go and pick them up. And this is what I've tried to do in this whole section. And you'll see by the other items that I've got what I've done with them. As always, none of them stayed like this for long, of course. I took them to pieces. I do like doing that. But they're so beautiful. Nature, honestly, is amazing. So coming back to this, the picture was cut out from a magazine. The little pieces of wood, what you can see, are these that I've shown you. This, of course, you will recognize it's some of that. And altogether, I think that looks very, very natural. That, of course, is going to go, when I, when I finished here, it's going to go on a stand to display. I then decided to make a second one in a smaller box and the same thing applies. I made two snakes out of Sculpey. Very easy to do by the way, just roll it of course and bake it. I painted them with um, acrylics but I think you could probably use whatever you've got. Not sure about watercolours. I haven't tried that, I might do that. But everything in here is natural, apart from the greenery. Those little bits of green were just to add a little bit of colour. Now this is a good size. This one would fit in a child's room if they wanted snakes. I think the box is rather small for that myself. But it is a very natural looking setting. I then got rather silly, and I do get silly, and I thought, what can I make out of Fimo that might be interesting for you? So I made a fish. I'm not sure what fish it is, it's probably nearer a carp than anything, I think. But I got a book out and I made it flat. And if you see the sides, you'll notice it has a flat base. It's much easier to try to make it flat than to make it as a, as a whole object. It rolls around and it doesn't lose its toad. I see it much easier anyway. And if I take the front off, you'll see what I've done. I have a 3D effect. So I have card at the back, a blue card, and the greenery you can see here 
is in fact this, all colours. This is from a fish supply shop, can't remember which one. The one thing I did do, and you're not to laugh, I made sure that all the fronds were going in the way the same way, because that's how it works. I put stones in the bottom, and I want you to also notice his eye. It's a googly eye, I bought that one. I just thought it added a silly touch. And in the front, I actually put stones, a shingle, and little bits of pieces that you'd see in the bottom of the sea or a pond. That gives the 3D effect. And that would look rather nice sitting on a shelf, don't you think? I then got cilia, and I created one tank with goldfish. They didn't intend to be goldfish, by the way, but I just thought I fancied the idea. Again, fine, they're very easy, made flat and fiddly, but when you paint them, they look really realistic. As always, I don't leave anything as it is, and you can see what I've done. I filled it with stones and shingle, bits and pieces, some shells, fronds from the same place. On the back wall, I've got a blue card, which I painted bubbles on, not difficult to do. I stuck a couple of fish on just for fun, really. That's another one. Something different is the owl. Now I've got three of these all different. Two of them I bought and one of them I made. I'm not going to ask you to guess because it's easy to tell. But going to one I bought, which is probably this one. Tiny box, because this is what it's about, the use of these boxes, don't forget. I lift it off, a 3D effect. The little owl sits nicely on his dark objects, the sky, which one is this? Oh yes, the sky is dark blue, a couple of diamonds stuck on it, just for effect. The dark, by the way, the, the dark fabric, you can see the dark material. You see behind this one, for instance, the black. Two uses, really. So I did that one. Second one is, this one is a bought one. And again, I really don't like just to see an owl stuck on and ignored. I like my little things to have a setting. And you can see this has got a little setting. It's shiny, but it doesn't matter. It's rather sweet in there. I might give that one away. The one I made, now you're not to laugh at this one, because you've got more to laugh at later. This again is the dark sky. Oh, I stuck a starry, shiny star on that. We've all got those, haven't we? I made him again, just out of a lump of, a lump of scalpy, painted him. I stuck two googly eyes on him. And when I lift the front off again, 3D effect. This is, the sto this is the sticks that I sh showed you earlier. Lots of the dark stuff that I showed you. I don't know what I'd call it, moss is it or something? And that one is filled with it. Another piece of, another piece of shrubbery. But put together, makes one picture. So that's quite a, a nice little display. Now, this is when I get even sillier, even sillier, I hear you say, and I decided to make a pheasant. I haven't made one before. I'm probably never going to make one again. But I made it flat. And I fancy this one in the study, so I actually made this one out of wood. Just wooden sides, it's a cardboard back. I stuck a picture on the back wall, which is just a view, really. The pheasant I made by making him flat, as I say. It wasn't very difficult, I was surprised, really. I took the picture from a book, a magazine, lots of those around. I painted him just following the directions, looking at the picture. And then I stuffed it full, as you can see, of the greenery. The same things that I've used in all of these, back to nature. So have a go at pheasants, because it, or birds, really. If you make them flat, you'll be surprised. This I'll stick on later, but that's going to go in the study. 
By the way, another thing that I, I meant to mention to you, these are, of course, symbol cases, and I've shown you these before, making flowers. In my other film about flowers, I didn't show the finished job, so I thought I'd let you have a look at that. This is how it was. You saw it part made, I think. But that was a finished, finished thing. So these are things to do with containers. I then made the mistake of going shopping for my grandchildren, which is a disaster, as we know. And I bought this. It's a dinosaur drum, I suppose, to make up. But I wanted the case. And you're not to laugh because I ended up with that. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm mad. Let me show you what I did. I blame George Dean for this, by the way. She has a video out of how to make hats and things. And some of her hats have feathers on them, so I bought a bag of feathers. I couldn't quite think what to do with them. I had enough hats after all. And I decided to make some birds. I know you're laughing, I can hear you. This one. I've left him so you can see. Looks like an exploding pillow to me. I'm not very good at this, by the way. You might be better, so it's worth having a go. Aren't they silly? One thing I wanted to mention was the tree. Because this is what I used for the tree. I literally took a bundle of wire, and it can be any length, if you want a tall tree or a short tree. And I just wound them round firmly to create a trunk, leaving enough at the bottom to fit in my container, which is this one. If it's in a garden, of course, you, it doesn't matter what the size is. And then the top you literally open out, making sure, of course, whatever container you're going to use, it fits over. And that was my problem, but I did end up with quite a nice tree. And you'll notice the bottom Again, everything from the garden, from my little bit of woodland behind, and from the trees in my area. Just break them up and use them. And you can make the most interesting and creative, natural woodland. If you insist on making birds, um, and these are made out of scalpy, if they were naked, they wouldn't look anything like birds, I have to tell you. But it's worth having a go, because if I can come up with something as silly as this, I'm sure you could come up with something sillier. Anyway, I've had enough of this, so I'm not going to talk to you any more about this silly arrangement. Have fun doing it, whatever you do, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.